Today I am going to discuss about disc clutch or sometimes it is known as plate clutch. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. At the end of this video you will be able to understand classification of disc clutch, function of single plate clutch, construction of single plate clutch, working of single plate clutch, model of single plate clutch, animation of single plate clutch, advantages of single plate clutch, disadvantages of single plate clutch and at last application of single plate clutch. So basically this video is focused on the single plate clutch. Now let's start with the classification of the disc clutch or plate clutch. So basically it is divided in two types single plate clutch and multiple plate clutch. Sometimes it is called as the multi plate clutch also. And here you can see there is a single plate use in the clutch and so that it is called as the single plate clutch. And here you can see multiple plates are used and so that it is called as multiple plate clutch. Here you can see the single plate is used and here you can see multiple plates are used in case of multiple plate clutch. Now let's start with the function. A clutch is a mechanical device which is used to transmit rotating motion or torque from driving shaft to driven shaft such that the driven shaft may be started or stop at will without stopping the driving shaft by engaging and disengaging device. Here you can see by engaging and disengaging driving shaft to the driven shaft to facilitate gear shifting easily without noise and damage. So basically there are three parts for the function of the clutch. In first part it is used to transmit motion or torque. In the second part such that the driven shaft may be started or stop at will without stopping the driving shaft by engaging and disengaging. And in third part to facilitate gear shifting easily without noise and damage. And here you can see the location of the clutch in the car. Now next location. A single plate clutch is situated between the engine and the gearbox. And here you can see this one is the engine and this one is the gearbox. And in between this purple color is the clutch. And in this figure also you can see this is the engine and this one is the gearbox. So in between there is a clutch. And this is the simple diagram you can use in the examination. Now the construction. Primary components. Flywheel. Here you can see this one is the flywheel. In this figure you can see this one is the flywheel. Then clutch disc. Here you can see. Then pressure plate. Here you can see the pressure plate and this is the disc plate. This one is the flywheel. Here also you can see clutch plate and pressure plate. And next component is release bearing. So here you can see this one is the release bearing. Now next construction. And this is the exploded view of the single plate clutch. Here you can see this one is the flywheel, then clutch disc. This is the pressure plate 
and this one is the release bearing and here I have written that pilot bearing in the center of flywheel here you can see supports the end of the input shaft then clutch disc sometimes it is called as the friction disc spline to transmission to the input shaft then release bearing that is sometimes called as the throughout bearing allows to push on rotating clutch fingers this is the clutch fork pushes to bearing to release rotating clutch this one is a pressure plate that is bolted to flywheel here you can see the bolt and that is fitted over here applies the spring force to clamp the friction disc to the flywheel and this one is the flywheel that is bolted to the crankshaft so mainly it consists of a clutch plate here you can see with both side friction lining and some other parts like flywheel pressure plate thrust bearing hub springs and input mechanism for engaging and disengaging of clutch clutch plate is attached with the hub between flywheel and the pressure plate here you can see the clutch plate or you can say clutch disc that is attached with the hub between flywheel and pressure plate it moves axially on driven shaft the pressure plate is attached with the flywheel and the spring pressure plate helps to push the clutch plate towards the flywheel a lever is attached to the thrust bearing with some mechanism to give input now working of the single plate clutch in this figure you can see the single plate is used that's why it is called as the single plate clutch and these are the two different position in this figure the clutch plate is engaged in this figure you can see the clutch plate is not engaged that means it is disengaged and so that only drive shaft is rotating driven shaft is not rotating when the clutch is engaged both the driving shaft as well as driven shaft are rotating when the clutch pedal is not pressed the clutch is said to be engaged here you can see so clutch plate is grip between flywheel and pressure plate here you can see so as the clutch plate revolves the clutch shaft also revolves thus the engine power is transmitted to the crankshaft to the clutch shaft here you can see when the clutch pedal is pressed in this case the clutch is said to be disengage here you can see the gap so the pressure plate moves back against the force of the spring and the clutch plate becomes free between the flywheel and the pressure plate hence the flywheel remains rotating here you can see as long as the engine is running and the speed of the clutch shaft reduces slowly and finally it stops rotating so these two are the different cases of engage and disengage position so this figure is actually shown in the reverse direction here you can see the flywheel in the left side and in these both cases the flywheel is on right side now more images of the single plate clutch and here you can see the engaging and disengaging position of the single plate clutch with the help of the pressure plate and this is the fork to release the pressure with the help of the bearing and this figure is also very simple so you can use in the examination
next these are also the different images to understand exactly the construction and working of the single plate clutch here you can see the springs and here you can see the location of the clutch in between engine and gearbox more images this is the assemble view of the single plate clutch and this is the exploded view of the single plate clutch next advantages single plate clutch is smooth in operation during engagement and disengagement of clutch very less slip occurs in its operation power loss is very less very less heat is generated as only one clutch plate is used the operation of this clutch is very fast as sufficient surface area is available for the heat dissipation so no cooling oil is required now disadvantages the capacity of torque transmission is less the size of this clutch is big even for less torque transmission because of the single plate is used it is dry clutch so it is required to prevent it from the moisture chance of wear and tear is high in case of single plate clutch now applications of single plate clutch single plate clutches are used in buses trucks cars here you can see single plate clutch is used where large radial space is available here you can see in case of the truck and bus the large radial space is available so at that time you can use the single plate clutch and this is a very simple figure so you can use it in the examination for the short note of the single plate clutch if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video